Uh, there's an election next year you might have heard about, and House Republicans are introducing a new bill, the American Confidence in Elections Act, aimed at boosting election integrity. One issue at the forefront, removing foreign money from American elections. While non-U.S. citizens are not able to vote or donate to political campaigns, a significant number allegedly used a loophole allowing, allowing them to give to, you know, 50C4 organizations. Those are tax exempt groups, and then can give directly to super PACs and other causes. So you're overseas, you give to the 501c4, then they give it to super PACs and causes. Now, of course, over the past few years, both parties have claimed financial interference by foreign nationals in U.S. elections. In this case, Republicans alleging Swiss billionaire Hans Org Visas donated hundreds of millions into American politics. And tax filings show a nonprofit owned by Vies gave over $70 million to a progressive organization or organizations two years ago. So how can that be fixed? Joining us now is the bill's sponsor, Wisconsin. Congressman Brian Stile from Wisconsin's great first district all the way down there in Kenosha to Janesville. Congressman Stile, thank you for joining us. You understand there's going to be people who are watching this show who may be politically left who are saying, wait a minute. We thought all the foreign money was supposed to be on the right. It, th this is all about an opportunity to build Americans' confidence in their elections. And foreign nationals already are prohibited from di contributing directly to candidates running for federal office. But as you identified and as we found, there's a loophole to that. And what we see are foreign national billionaires providing funds to 501c4 tax-exempt organizations in the United States, which then simply launder the money and pass them off to super PACs to run political ads. We think this is a loophole that should be closed, and in doing so, I think we'll further enhance the integrity of our elections here in the United States. So it sounds like, because, you know, you're going to have finger-pointing on both sides saying, well, it's all the Republicans, all the Democrats. Sounds like this is a bill that would equally benefit, potentially, both parties. Be good for everybody. It yeah, th this, this portion of the legislation, right, is so important because it's not partisan in nature. What this is doing is just simply good governance, making sure that we close loopholes and prevent foreign interference in our elections. We have plenty of evidence that individuals are taking advantage of this loophole, bringing in money from outside the United States, from foreign nationals, funneling it through tax-exempt entities, and then moving that through super PACs and then influencing U.S. elections. Well, because we discovered the, the loophole, Let's work together to close it. There's no reason that this loophole should exist. We should all agree, Democrats or Republicans, that we should not allow foreign money to come into the United States to directly impact our U.S. elections. How hard would it be to block the money? I mean, is it is as effective as just sort of a switch on a computer screen? How do you do it? Well, there's obviously a little bit of a challenge here in the disclosure requirements as it relates uh, to giving into 501c4 uh, entities. But I think it's actually pretty straightforward if we close this loophole and simply say any 501c4 that's received foreign funds over the last four years are prohibited from transferring money to super PACs in the United States that impact elections, we've done the job. Then uh, simply enforcing that requirement. But the tracking of that is not as challenging as it is you might think offhand. And I'm confident that if we close this loophole, we will be able to actually plug that spigot of money coming into the United States from foreign nationals. Yeah, Congressman Brian Stile sounds like a good law and a good rule potentially for all of Americans, although I can still see some political fighting because that's what we do. Congressman, thank you. Have a great night.